Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to the third of our Crossing the Andes uh, scenarios. This one is called Summiteer, and it's considered hard. The first two were medium, and they were hard enough. So we're, the big thing here is, let me just show you, we are based here in Lima, and not a ton of uh, starting money. We'll bump it up to very hard. And um, this area is really, even, even where it looks flat down there, there's a lot of uh, elevation change, a lot of uh, uh, tough track delay. So this is challenging just because of where we are and all those, all those mountains. Sometimes I think about giving everything up and dedicating my life to poetry. How about you? Uh, <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. That's how I started. I think my very first video was telling Roger no. I hadn't thought of that. But uh, here we, we've come full circle, I guess. So we're back to Roger, the industrialist. This is um, evaluation of the contenders, and I am the best choice. Roger, you're our only choice. So uh, that's the point. This is the only one we can play, which is great. This is our third character. We've done the lady. We've done the new lady. We've done the new Don Lorenzo. Now here's the new Roger. He gets cheaper, newly constructed factories, which is great. Half off. That's a big deal. And he can just jump in and buy a town's factory whatever he wants to without an auction. Pays probably a little premium for it, but he can buy it. And we don't want auctions. Auctions, he's, he really... Uh, no good, no good. So we'll skip those whenever we can. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know what that'll do to us for research because a lot of the best re auctions are really for research. All right, let's see what we got to do here. Henry Deering, entrepreneur and always seeking for a splendid investment opportunity. And exactly such an opportunity is right in front of our noses. This stretch of land offers a terrain which is too difficult for other companies. And to be honest, it seems unlikely to earn any railway money in this ill-suited region. However, this region is incredibly rich in valuable resources. If we succeed in rendering these sources accessible, we could earn a whole lot of money. We have to act quickly before other companies recognize our plan and try to jump on board. <laughs> Okay, very cute. Jump on board. Capital is quite modest, but an expert like you would certainly generate revenue soon, wouldn't you? All right, so our, our first goal is to have a quarterly revenue of 80,000. We're going to make sure we do that in our first quarter, which is as fast as we could possibly do it. And remember I've said that when you play these scenarios, find out what's different about it and to make that your advantage. So what we have in this one, we're, we're cut off. We can only build three in three cities, Cusco, Lima, and Ica. And, and I'm just going to call it Ica. It might be Isa. I don't know. We'll just, we'll, I'm going to stick with Ica. It just sounds better to me. So, um, what we want to do is find out what is different. So if we look at Cusco, it looks like a standard city with the uh, meat industry. But if we go over here to Lima, standard beer city, very small, both of them under 20,000. And then we go to Ica, and look at that, an export warehouse. Able to gather niter for exports to Europe. And look at this right here. In NIDR, weekly demand is seven a week. That is terrific. That means that we could pump, we would have to, to meet that, you would have to pump a train in there, full train, almost every week in order to meet that. That's a lot of NIDR going to ICA. That's a lot of money. So we are going to take advantage of that. We are going to buy Chaplin Truff. 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 I used to know what that word was. Okay, we just bought it for 261. Now we are going to expand it. So now it's uh, costing us a bunch of money. All right, stop for a second. Okay, and then we're going to put in a warehouse so that we can have a short haul for this and start making money right away. 
and we'll put this warehouse so that it will pick up a couple of other goods for us too when the time comes. Okay, that should work. And now you see we're broke, but that's all right, no problem. Now we've got plenty of money to work with. We'll build our station up here next to our uh, NIDR. Run a dedicated line into the warehouse. That's, that's not bad. Double track it back. Set our signals. Give it a supply tower. I think I'd like one out of the way in this case. All right. And run some trains. Oh, and before we do that, stop. Set this thing up to take fish. Oop, where are you? I don't think that's NIDR. Where's NIDR? Oh, come on. Yeah, that is. Sorry. That's NIDR. And we can have it take Llama Wolf. It'll allow us. It may not. That one's not ready to come yet. All right. So now we can set up a line from here to here. There, now we're already making good money on that. And we'll watch this, we'll stay here for a minute and watch this uh, line, make sure we got the right number of trains on this. I think one, no, see it's already filling up. So let's run a couple of trains. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, those two trains should be great. Now, we need to start running as soon as we can, get that NIDR going over here to ICA. So to, do, to hook up with ICA, we got two options. We could run the line, stay with point to point, but I think what we're gonna do here, just to keep everything moving, the thing we can do is build a warehouse without having any shall we say, permission. And we'll run a, a line between and this is, this is where the train gets you because this is a tough train. We're going to really fall off a mountain here to come into the warehouse. But we don't mind going down the hill. So we'll get that going here in a minute as soon as we have enough money. But we're making about $10,000 a week off of this, plus our trains. Well, now they are actually losing money. Now, why is that? Because they don't have a customer for the. Um, NIDR. The customer is down here. And in fact, I'm going to change my mind. Rather than waiting on this, it would cost us less money and we could start making money if we go ahead and play a little more traditionally and build our city to city line. Oh, 
over to Ika. And again, we've got to be very careful with the terrain because we don't want a bunch of bridges, unnecessary bridges and tunnels. We will be building a few on this. We can't help it, but the terrain is very tough, but minimize them for sure. And accept the fact that we're going to have some slope. And by the way, all the slope says that part of our research strategy is to get out, go out there and get the Mikado, which has decent tractive power. We want to get that one pretty early in the process. going to run a couple of trains because this is a is a beer to beer line so it's not that attractive okay we've got a couple of trains going there we've got our niter working up here I knew I could rely on you meanwhile and there we go. We hit our goal. In fact, how did we do? And I was able to secure an entrance into the south. We did 101,000 and land, off of our industry. Don't let yourself be fooled. Just a couple of years ago, a bitter war was fought over these resource-rich areas. I am keen to see us making business in a peaceful manner. Okay, now we have to deliver NIDA to Ika, we are set up for that, and grow Ikike, and make some clothing. So we are looking pretty good here, actually, if I do say so myself. So we're going to run a line. Now, what we'll do here... 25% utilization, so we can afford to run something else in there. So let's clean this up and make it cheaper. Now the question is, do you try to get rid of that slope? And I just don't think, I just don't think you can. I mean, you can. You can curve and get rid of some of the slope, but I just don't think it's worth it. I'd rather fight that slope and have a cheaper line that I can get going than wait. Okay, wait for that line. So 178,000, all right. Got my tower, my favorite mistake. All right, so what we're finding now is that our one train is sufficient for handling this load.
Okay, he's trying nice little express lines, doing all right for us. Fifty-three forty-nine. Let's see if we can't replace those city to city. Yeah, we'll bump them up to the faster Garrets. So they got a relatively flat run there. Now, as you know, I do not run single, well, what happened to my train? Oh, <laughs> don't run trains at all, apparently. I do not run single line trains, but this is temporary. It's going to run like this until we have enough money accumulated to double track it. Okay, so we've double tracked a big chunk of it so we can run a lot of trains through there, but not super efficiently. We'll go ahead and finish off the double track later, but right now I want to get another train going because we can haul this stuff certainly faster. go. When that one hits, we will have our second task done in our first year, which is exactly what we want. Now we got to work our way out to Ikike.
those isolated businesses are rather worthless. But as soon as their products are carted away in huge quantities, their value will increase dramatically. There we go. Perfect. We finished it in the first year, which is just what we wanted. For an opportunity of investment. You see how this is totally paid for itself. It's just making us pure profit at this point. We're starting to gather up some beer. You'll see why that matters in a little bit when we start working on Ikike. And we need some money, so we're going to uh, pay off a bond, at least one bond, eh, probably one. We'll probably pay off one bond and open a, hopefully open a bigger bond. Well, we will. We'll be able to open a bigger bond than we have. Our company value has increased. I wish I knew. I, somebody tell me how to do this. I've got the conductor. I'd like to go open up a train. Is there a way to do that without jumping through 25 hoops? Do I have to go over here? I guess I do. I'm going to take this one and give them a conductor. Oh, it's tempting to get that corn bonus. Oh, I gotta go for that one too, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Mikado, you'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, we can do something with that much money. All right. So we're going to go down to Ikike. And now, station or warehouse? Station or warehouse? I think warehouse. <laughs> it won't fit where I want it. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is pick up one, two, three, four goods from around Ikike and start uh, loading them in there. So slow down. Let's take fish, corn. Too bad we can't take logs. We'll take meat. We'll take beer, sugar, and milk. Sounds great. Okay. Now, the line from here to here is going to cost a small fortune, but these right here won't be so bad. So we can run corn or uh, fish in there and corn and sugar and milk. Now, it, it won't need the sugar and milk just yet, so we'll do the fish and the um, corn first, and I think I want to run like a little trunk line kind of a thing. Oh, do I? Yeah. Yep.
Picked the wrong side, of course. take away that much of it. Alright, run it out past the fish and run the fish first. can't resist another drain. They all, they're all going to make money. They're all going to keep that niter going and they're going to make sure that we can keep making that 10000 a week up here, which is going to be more later, as you can imagine. Okay, now we can start. That happens a lot, that third track. I don't get that. Double track out here.
As soon as I get that corn, I'm going to go down and finish off this more of this double track. Definitely. Don't need all that hesitation. That's money sitting there waiting to be had. What am I doing here? And just a quick note, when you're making a, a track like this, uh, you know, where you've got a rural station that's going to plug into a main line, make sure you leave yourself some space here. Don't, don't try to save a few dollars and come right in as tight as you can because you've got to have space to get these trains off and out of the way of the main line when the traffic goes up. We don't have much traffic now, but you've got to have some space here to, to exit. And I would advise you to use what we call the Jan Jansen technique and put these, put a few in here really tight so that you can get two or three trains off there with no problem. Because remember, they come back to the station empty, uh, so they're very short. We call it Jan Jansen because he's the one that brought it to the channel's attention that, that they come back empty. And you can put those uh, signals in there nice and tight. Got some corn. All right, we're getting there. We really need to start getting beer down. Here's the thing about the uh, Ikike. It gets enough um, meat, cattle. See the cattle coming across here over land? So that we've got cattle flow into um, Ikike. Right now it's 100%. It probably won't match it when we start taking some out of there. But we're getting the, the cattle and the, and the meat. We're now giving it um, corn and fish. Unfortunately, the only logs are way down here, way yeah, down here or way up to the north. And we just can't get to those now. We just don't have the funds. But, um, so we can't do logs. But we got the, the meat and the cattle. And what we want to do is get a line going back up through here. And this one's going to cost some money to hook up our two, two warehouses. Then we can start moving the beer that we're bringing up from Ika over to Ikike. And that is going to let us get started with this thing. really get our growth started. Okay, 242 is what we need to uh, build that line. So I think we're going to go on up to about 280 so, oh no, 12 weeks. It'll be gone in 12 weeks, so uh, we'll just accumulate cash. Let's see here, trains. I want Warehouse to Ica. They're going to make money all the time. Well, half the time. And I keep forgetting we've got these things too. Give them a security guard. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we've got a decent little economy going for so early on a hard map. I mean, one thing we could consider if we wanted... No, nah, I don't want... No, no, no. <laughs> Almost said we could delete this warehouse and uh, get that money and help us build our line and run a direct line to Ica, but <laughs> then you dump all the beer. That would be pretty, pretty stupid. All right. So there we go. Now we've got one side of it. And I'm going to go ahead and start a train from here. Run full. I believe it's track two. We'll see in a moment. Yes, it is. In track three. And go. And now we'll start running the Mikados. And the other thing we'll do is make sure this one will accept beer and corn. I mean meat and corn. And what was the other one? Uh, sugar would be good. Look at that, we can buy that for 218 without any bids or anything. That's nice. It'll go up here. It's going to start making money when we start shipping this, this uh, stuff back. But we're shipping fish. Okay. And we've got fish, so we need to fix that. We do not want you to pick up fish in this warehouse. We don't want you taking beer back because you just would have just brought it. You can take corn, sugar, and milk, although there won't be any milk. Milk won't be a valid choice. And then up here at this end, do not take meat back because you just brought it. You won't take that, of course. Don't take that. You would have just brought it. Don't take that. Don't take that. Just take beer. Okay. And we're starting to make some money. You notice that?
could really make some money if we could get this double tracked. Okay, now we really got to watch the KK and get it growing. Let's see what we got here. We're at 59. So we've got everything but wood. Why are we at 59? There we go. Now we're growing. And we're going to have to get that sugar and milk ready so that it's in there as soon as it is capable of taking it. So the sugar is next. Oh, we'll hire her and it's going to cost us even though we don't have any maintenance yet. But and maybe we probably won't even be able to keep her. We'll probably get her stolen. But uh, we're going to take a shot and see if we can get her and keep her. Actually, I take that back. We won't get her stolen up early because we really aren't, we kind of don't have competition right now. We're kind of isolated from our competitors by the nature of the um, um, Okay, now we could hire an auctioneer to help us. No, 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 no auctioneers. No, thank you Okay, one nice thing, we've even got Ica growing here at a nice rate. And it's getting some meat from uh, Ikike, it's got beer, it's getting, it'll get corn eventually.
Okay, we're getting good growth in the Kike. See one thing we're going to change in anticipation. No sugar here. We want um, that stuff right there. That, oh shucks in this one I'm going to shut off the milk and we're going to run our milk line directly into the city The reason being the plan is to put our tailor in um, Ikike. this ready to run as soon as it's needed but since it's going to the city it may I don't think it's uh, going to start running right off the bat Yeah, see, it's not loading yet, but as soon as this city hits, um, I think it's 30, yeah, 35,000, then it will load up and come on down. Oh, Santa Fe is tempting. Oh, let's see if we got anything back here that's nice. Yes, we do. Freight revenue. You look at this 1.5 million we've made off that little puppy right there. Oh, we've wiped out our niter. Okay, there. Now the milk is clicked in that needs milk. 
So we've got, there we go, and there's our milk queuing up and taking off as fast as we can get it there. And now we have to really watch it. Uh, we have to have $250,000 in our pocket when we hit $40,000. And here's why. Because that's what it's going to cost to put a tailor in. We could buy an industry somewhere else and then knock it down and replace it, but that's way too expensive. So we've got the funds. We're just going to watch this, and as soon as it hits uh, 40000 we'll throw a tailor in there. And let me make sure I've got it set up correctly. This one needs to... Oh, goodness, goodness. It needs to stop taking that. It needs to take... Both that and that. And we need to be able to ship those things somewhere. And the easiest thing to do would be to ship them back here. Oh, what can we take out of the mix? We'll take the corn out. And pick up the uh, clothing. Here we go. We're about to hit it. There we go. Make sure we have the money to do this before a competitor puts something in there. We'll put our tailor shop oh, right out here. We'll even expand it one. There we go. Now we've got llama wool on its way to a kiki right away so we'll get llama wool in there we'll make uh, uh, clothing we'll ship the clothing back to the warehouse so that should take care of both of our requirements here so we should be in excellent shape to uh, finish off these first four tasks uh, this is a little slower than I would like but it's uh, I'm not sure how to do it faster. Anybody have any ideas, let me know. Other than kind of cheating looking ahead and starting on the growth, uh, you know, right off the bat, uh, which is kind of, you know, you wouldn't have known that if you were playing this for the first time. I do try to kind of, you know, put a blinder on, and even though I know something's coming, I try not to totally... Uh, tailor my approach to stuff that you really wouldn't know if you hadn't already played. Okay, Kiki's in, Kiki's in good shape. We have... Uh, Nine uh, coats we can, uh, what am I saying, nine clothing. We're almost halfway there on the clothing already and steadily growing, so we're looking good. Looking good. Niter, as an industrial raw material, is highly coveted on the global okay. market. In this one's almost done, so I'm looking real good. Exported, but those times have changed. What guano exactly is? Please don't ask.
we had a spare million sitting around, we would, uh, I mean, the easiest thing in the world would be to bump this up and make more money. We certainly got the infrastructure set up to handle it. What is true for farms and mines is certainly true for there we factories go. as well. The more a business produces, the higher its value is going to be. Our All right, so. Really off on your bank we have left a serious impression on our neighboring countries. I was able to convince the governments of Bolivia and Paraguay to open their borders to our company. Well, perhaps I promised a little bit too much, but I am sure you will succeed in meeting the requirements. What? What in the world? Okay, let's see. All right, our next uh, set of tasks will be to connect seven cities of 50,000. We have one. So we will come back in uh, our next part two and conquer that. We're off to a pretty good start, though, I believe. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.